Look at this thing. This is an isolation booth. It's by a company called Whisper Room. This thing is 12 by eight feet, 4,000 pounds, and it's estimated to reduce the volume of whatever's inside down by 75%. And I found this thing used on Facebook Marketplace around a month or so ago now, and I decided to take a chance on it because playing drums inside my house was not working out for me or my family. And I can say now after playing in this thing for a couple weeks that it's very effective and I'm really pleased with the results. So today, since I know a lot of you out there are in a similar boat as me, you're a drummer, you're a musician, you're looking for a solution for this noise problem, I wanna give you a tour of this thing, show you a bit about how it works, and we'll do some volume tests around my house so you can see just how effective it is. So let's first talk about the overall build quality of this thing. And as I mentioned, this particular unit weighs close to 4,000 pounds. And with the help of my wife, it took us all day to take it apart and load it into a U-Haul truck. And that's because there's a lot of pieces to it. The pieces are obviously very large, but also the pieces are made of very high quality, dense material, which makes them very heavy and thus very good at blocking sound. And one thing I noticed throughout the entire disassembling and reassembling of this thing is just how well it's made. All of the bolts and all of the fittings are all rock solid and the fabric that it's wrapped in is also really high quality as well. And I'm actually the third owner of this particular booth, so it's been used a bunch, it's been disassembled and reassembled a whole bunch, and it still looks great. Another thing I wanted to be sure to mention is that this is their enhanced model, which just means that it has double floors, double walls, and double ceilings. So you have two layers of material wrapped around the entire thing, which blocks a lot more sound and of course makes it more expensive, but it was very important for me to get this particular model because I needed to block as much drums as possible. All right, let me give you guys a tour of this and show you how I have it set up. First thing you gotta hear is this thunk. Pretty big difference, right? So you can see, first off, I have the whole room covered in this acoustic foam. And that absorbs a bunch of sound and gives me a nice clean and controlled mix in here. So I've got my kit here, I've got it all mic'd up. All of the cables run along the perimeter of the room to this interface on my desk. All right, let me give you a view from behind the kit. Yeah, it's cozy in here. It's got everything I need and nothing I don't. All right, now we're gonna put this thing to the test. I have one drum set that I just set up in the garage and another that's in the whisper room. And I'm just gonna move around the house and get different volume readings. All right, first up is the garage test. Now let's go one level deeper into the house. We're gonna go into my kitchen, which shares a wall with the garage. So the garage is on the other side of this wall. There's not a huge distance here. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. Now 
Next up, we're gonna go even further into the house, into our master bedroom. So now we're gonna have two levels of separation from the garage. So now we essentially have two sets of walls, give or take, between us and the drums and a lot of air. Let's see what we can hear. Next up, we're gonna head upstairs to our bonus room that's directly above the garage. And for those of you that follow this channel, you know that this is where I've had my drum studio for the past year or so. And this room just has not worked out. The drums are far too loud. I'm driving my family crazy. And this is why I'm giving this whisper room a shot. So the drums are right down there. The garage is right below me. Let's give it a test. And for our last test, I'm gonna set the camera up outside our garage. All right, so we're outside. We have lawn care going on. We have planes flying overhead. We have kids outside. Let's see what it's like for the neighbors when I play. All right, so now I'm gonna load up all the footage, give it a look, and I'll come on back and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, I've had a chance to take a look at all the footage and I'm excited to share with you guys my results. Now, before we look at them, I think it's important for us all to understand what this decibel measurement is actually telling us so we can put this all in perspective. Decibels are logarithmic and work on orders of magnitude. Zero decibels is the threshold of human hearing. 10 decibels is 10 times more powerful than zero. 20 decibels is 100 times more powerful than zero. 30 decibels is 1,000 times more powerful than zero. And what that's telling us is that there's actually a giant difference between 10, 20, and 30 decibels. It doesn't sound like much to us, but because it corresponds to orders of magnitude, it makes a huge difference. And to make it more understandable, you can also think about it in terms of perceived volume. And so for that, an addition of 10 decibels is two times as loud. A reduction of 10 decibels is half as loud. Therefore, with that logarithmic thing, an addition of 20 decibels is four times as loud, and a reduction of 20 decibels is a quarter as loud. So when Whisper Room says that you can count on about a 75% reduction in volume when you use one of their booths, they're basically saying that they drop the decibel count by about 20. And right now, we're gonna see if that's the case. So what you're looking at here is the garage test. On the left-hand side, you have me playing the kit on the outside of the booth, and then me walking over, getting inside the booth, and this is the kit inside the booth. For the garage, the loudest point when I played outside of the booth was 108 decibels, which amounts to something like a big concert venue. Then when I went inside the booth, the highest reading I got was 74 decibels, which is like a vacuum cleaner. So that amounts to a 34 decibel reduction, which is about 1,000 times less powerful and one eighth is loud. And that's huge because that's an even greater reduction than what Whisper Room says you can count on. Next up, we're looking at the kitchen. You can see on the left-hand side playing outside of the booth, the right-hand side playing inside of the booth. Outside of the booth, my loudest reading was 65 decibels, which is like a normal conversation. Inside of the booth, the loudest that it got was 43 decibels, which you can think about like a quiet library. That's a 22 decibel reduction or 100 times less powerful and a quarter as loud. And that's exactly within that range that Whisper Room says you can count on, about a 20 decibel reduction, a quarter as loud or 75% less volume. Moving on to the bedroom, you can see on the left-hand side, we're just getting a little bit of a reading, and then on the right-hand side, when I go into the booth, you can 
barely hear it. You really got to turn up the speakers to hear what we're getting. And so outside of the booth, the loudest reading I got was 43 decibels, which is again like a quiet library. And within the booth, the highest reading I got was 27 decibels, which is like a whisper. That's a reduction of 16 decibels. So around that sweet spot we talked about before where it's a hundred times less powerful and about a quarter as loud. Next up is my old drum room, the bonus room that's right above this garage. And I was actually really surprised with how well this booth did. I thought being right below the bonus room, it would still be pretty loud, but you can see a drastic difference. Outside of the booth, the loudest it got was 66 decibels, which is a normal conversation. And then within the booth, the loudest it got was 42 decibels, which is again, a quiet library. So that's a reduction of 24 decibels or a hundred times less powerful and a quarter as loud. And last but definitely not least for my neighbors is the reading I did outside of the house on the sidewalk. And one thing I thought that was really interesting about this one is that you can see here I'm in the booth, it's looking pretty quiet, and then at the very end here you see this spike, and that's just a car passing by. And I thought that was interesting because it puts in perspective just how quiet those drums are out there you know, compared to just normal day-to-day -day traffic that everyone's listening to and we're all fine with. So outside of the booth, the loudest it got was 73 decibels, just like a vacuum cleaner. And inside of the booth, the loudest it got was 51 decibels, which is like moderate rainfall. That's a reduction of 22 decibels, which is right in that sweet spot where we're a hundred times less powerful and you say it with me, a quarter as loud. And so, Whisper Room is true to their word. This thing takes the volume down on average about 75%. So with all that said, I can tell you all that I'm really pleased with the results I'm getting. While this thing is not 100% soundproof and you can still hear the drums around the house, it's very manageable and it just becomes an afterthought after a while. So that's gonna do it for this one, everybody. I really hope that this helps you out. I'm very much looking forward to playing drums in this room where I don't have to worry about bugging my family, bugging the neighbors. There's just another level of creativity and expression and digging in that uh, I can have out here. And I'm really looking forward to that. So as always, thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. You take it easy. Bye-bye.